Great Collections has offered collectors of modern mint errors a very interesting opportunity to purchase scars and highly sought after 1982 No P. Roosevelt Dam, graded MS67 full bands by PCGS. This example is one of only 10 certified by the grading service with non finer Welcome back to Coinas. If you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. According to CoinWeek, no explanation of the 1982 No P. Roosevelt time should begin without explaining that, unlike most United States coins issued since 1947, coins issued in 1982 and 1983 by United States Mint were not sold to collectors in uncirculated sets. Instead, as a cost-cutting measure, the United States Mint suspended its mint set program and focused instead on producing proof sets and commemorative coin issues. This means that 1982 and 1983 issues that survive in uncirculated grades do so because they have removed from the normal channels of commerce. It also means that there aren't a million or so potentially uncirculated examples lying around in collector sets for spectaculars to come through in search of superb gem examples. This excellent example with full bands on reverse fetched the sum of $1,650 with buyer's fee at Great Collections auction this month. But probably the most valuable example, also in Mint State 67, was sold year earlier. This superb gem from Ellis Brown collection ended up selling for $4,838, also at Great Collections auction. But what about 1982 dime with a P-Mint mark? Are these Philadelphia specimens also worth a lot more than their face value? Well, that very much depends on overall condition of a coin. For commanding strong premiums, coins should reach MS66 or MS67 grade and have fully struck lower and higher bands on reverse side. For example, this elusive gem in MS67 full bands condition fetched a sum of $2,058.75 with buyer's fee at Great Collections auction. But wait a minute, what about Denver issue? For those taking their first steps in coin collecting, when there is a D mint mark near the date, it means that the coin was produced by the Denver branch of the US Mint. With full bands designations, they are relatively scarce in MS67 condition and scarcer with plus designation. PCGS reported just two specimens in that grade, with non finer and a signed guiding price of $2,500. This video was made based on CoinWeek article and PCGS price guide. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit the like button.